Hi everyone, I'm back with my um, my lost voice and my very my sickness. But only for a couple of minutes because we're reviewing Captain America Civil War. Um, really, I'm going to do this the number one movie in the world according to the TV spots. That's just bragging. Anyway, Captain America Civil War is of course back Captain America, third Captain America in the Captain America trilogy. This really movie is. Um, is not too much action. This movie is more about the um, some more political issues that happen between Iron Man and Captain America. There's way more to the plot than this, but I'm just going to save you like the real plot that you know that the movie surrounds. It's about Iron Man. There's an incident that goes on with Captain America and his team. His team are Black Widow, the Falcon, um, Scarlet Witch, all that. Um, they say when an incident happens in like somewhere, I don't know where it is, but um, an incident starts, you know, like, I don't know, like a, I think I am building, like a huge building just explodes due to skull, which, you know, doing something, you know, a bit accidentally. Um, and now Iron Man's just like, alright, we've been given a form that says, um, you know, we're going to be supervised, they're going to send us places where we need to go, after that we need supervision. Captain America says no. We're surrendering, our, we're surrendering our right to choose and if we if we sign this Iron Man's going, come on, we need to do this. Then a huge fight starts. Yeah, there's way more to the plot, to the plot than that, but I'm just saying that for now. Look, there were lots of cool things in this. Like, the way it looked, I really loved it. The movie itself was great. It was a really good movie. I found it to be a dragging movie. Now, you're probably thinking... Jesse, you're just not liking it because of the no fighting. You're just a little kid. You're expecting a lot of fighting. There was more fighting in this movie than, than there was in Batman v Superman. And I actually really did love Batman v Superman. That was a better film than this. I'm going to say Batman v Superman was actually a better film. I enjoyed it more. Again, my nose is just... Um, look, it's not the... One thing I like is not the exact I said the same thing for my neighbors to review that, that just came out. It's not the exact same thing that they did with the last two. But um I reckon they could have done a bit better this one. I feel like it kinda of got a bit messy. That's my opinion. Don't leave please leave comments if you don't agree, but from my opinion I think it got a bit messy and sloppy in parts. Um and that villain, that villain, the he was kind of weak, like he did some horrible things and stuff. But yeah, you're only introduced to him like halfway through the movie. If you want to feel him, keep him throughout the whole movie. Keep him as a threat throughout the whole movie. Um, but it wasn't really a villain. And if it was a villain, it was weak. There was no real villain, villain, villain in this. You see both sides of Captain America and Iron Man. But I'm not really Iron Man's side. I'm just going to say it. I'm on Team Iron Man. Lots of people Team Cap because it's his movie. But I want to tell you why, man. I reckon they should have been supervised. Anyway, let's get to Spidey. I'm going to get to Spidey. I'm going to talk spoilers. I'm sorry if this is... I'm going to talk some spoilers. This is the best Spider-Man. I love this Spider-Man. Look, he was a bit of a nerd and stuff. He was a bit weak. But that's how Peter Parker should be. Wait, did I say Peter Parker? No, Spider-Man is beast. Peter Parker, um, he was awesome. Spider-Man was awesome. Um, people were saying, I was in the for like two seconds. He's not in it for two seconds. Even though he's in the for like 20 minutes, you still get a good view of his character. And when he's in it, masterpiece. I actually think he's the best part of this movie. And the way he was doing the web, you know, he's going, do you remember that and that, that part in that bias strikes back? That part, you remember it. It's fantastic. I just loved it. And him in the end fight scene. I have to impress Team Iron. I have to impress Iron Man. You know, you have a metal arm. That's awesome, dude. See, so already memorable quotes. I only saw this movie a few years ago. Awesome. Anyway, guys, this movie was okay. Thought it was good. Spider Man best part. Love Spider Man in this film. The rest was a bit meh. I'm gonna give it a six point eight. Six, yeah, six point eight. It was good, but I reckon they could have made it a bit better. Especially the villain, a bit weak. And um, yeah. Good enough, please, too.
That was close up. Still ugly. Alright, guys. See ya. 6.8 for Captain America Super Bowl. Bye.